Morning and Evening with Charles Haddon Spurgeon, morning edition of July 14th, but this is to be heard and received throughout the day, any day, as God brings us to this message. Verse of the day is, you will defile it if you use a tool on it. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 25. God's altar was to be built of unhewn stones so that no trace of human skill or work might be seen upon it. Human wisdom delights to trim and arrange the doctrines of the cross into a system more artificial and more congenial with the depraved tastes of fallen nature. However, instead of improving the gospel, carnal wisdom pollutes it until it becomes another gospel and not the truth of God at all. All alterations and amendments of the Lord's own word are defilements and pollutions. The proud heart of man is very anxious to have a hand in the justification of the soul before God. Preparations for Christ are dreamed of. Humblings and repentings are trusted in. Good works are cried up. Natural ability is much vaunted. And by all means the attempt is made to lift up human tools upon the divine altar. It were well if sinners would remember that as far from perfecting the Savior's work is concerned, their carnal confidences only pollute and dishonor it. The Lord alone must be exalted in the work of atonement, and not a single mark of man's chisel or hammer will be endured. There is an inheritance blasphemy in seeking, sorry, there is an inherent blasphemy in seeking to add to what Christ Jesus in his dying moments declared to be finished, or to improve that in which the Lord Yahweh or Yahweh finds perfect satisfaction. Trembling sinner, away with your tools and fall upon your knees in humble supplication, and accept the Lord Jesus to be the altar of your atonement and rest in him alone. Many professing Christians may take warning from this morning's text as to the doctrines or teachings which they believe. There is among Christians far too much inclination to square and reconcile the truths of revelation. This is a form of irreverence and unbelief. Let's strive against it and receive truth as we find it, rejoicing that the doctrines or teachings of the Word, the Word of God, are unhewn stones, and so are all the more fit to build an altar for the Lord. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So we see very clearly here, brothers and sisters, in this reading about the altar of the Lord, about that in which is to be received, and that in which shall not perish or fall away, and that is the eternal word of God and the Son of God, in whom is the manifestation of that word, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, that we would be forgiven, that we would be healed, that we would be renewed and made new. And it's in Him we can receive this message and grow in truth and strive for godliness as we press into the heart of God today and every day hereafter. Let us pray and close out for the Lord to seal this word in our hearts. Father God, we just thank you for this message today. We thank you for this word that you've blessed us with. We thank you for giving us this opportunity to share this word, to grow together in spirit and truth. We pray as you placed it upon Brother Spurgeon's heart to share this with us and pen these words. We thank you that you used our ancestors of faith to pen the words above as well. Our ancestor Moses, we pray, Father, that you would incline these words and incline our hearts to walk in the ways of your majesty and of your goodness and for your glory. We thank you, Lord, for strengthening us and giving us the grace and mercy and truth to walk out what we believe in the name of your Son, Jesus, and by the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen.